Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about something super personal and something that we all kind of struggle with. And I know a lot of you guys are insecure about this body part, if you will, but I'm here to tell you guys that I have them too. I know that this time of year, it's summer, um, I've been doing a lot of uh, swimwear and body positive videos because I know, like a lot of you guys, I used to feel really, really insecure with myself and with swimwear and I didn't want to try a bikini, I didn't want to wear any swimwear, didn't want to show my legs, my cellulite, I didn't, I didn't want to show anything. And I know there's a lot of people out there um, that are, you know, fat phobia. Fat phobia is real. Like, people... <laughs> People will judge, people have issues with larger fat women and we're not allowed to show our bodies and god forbid we have stretch marks and cellulite and skin and blood just like everyone else. My thing about this is, it's almost laughable to me, like I genuinely want to giggle because it's so stupid. It's stretch marks, like, okay. This is, this is this little thing called life that is out there in the world, right? Like, oh we all live. So God gave us skin and blood fat. Whatever you do. You grow a baby inside of you. You go through puberty. You grow. You age. Things change. Nothing stays the same. Your body changes over time, so it's baffling to me why, like, stretch marks are such a shameful thing when they're just a sign of growth and a sign of change. So I have had my own personal body journey as everyone else has. Some women have babies, some women maybe have gained a little bit of weight or a lot of weight during puberty or a hard time in their life. Maybe they lost a lot of weight, maybe they have sagging skin from losing weight. I This is my own personal journey. Um, I used to be a lot heavier. I'm still plus size now and um, I used to be a size like 20 and now I'm a size 14 or 16 and I'm super comfortable and happy with myself. Like I feel good, I feel healthy mentally and physically, I just I feel good and that's what it comes down to, you feeling good and happy with yourself. Um, but through my journey I went through a dark time where I ate a lot and gained a lot of weight and I have stretch marks and um, I have them both on my arms and on my stomach. I wanted to show them today. So this is my body right here, that's why I'm wearing my, my bra, don't mind me. Um, but it's a really pretty bra from a dormy. <laughs> anyway, so these are my stretch marks, and I actually I have scars here because I used to have lap band surgery, which um, helped me lose weight. And you know, I have scars, I have faded stretch marks, and um, it's just this is this is my body, and I'm not ashamed to show it to you guys. You know, it's just it's just a part of my life. It's a part of my process. This is my body. This is from my journey. Because of everything that I've gone through, this is what my body looks like now. And why am I supposed to be ashamed of what I'm, I have when this is just, this is just me. This is what I've been through. Um, I don't know. Stretch marks have become such a thing that people are so ashamed of and we want to get rid of them. You better believe for a while I tried a lot of creams that like cocoa butter and oil and all this stuff. I tried it because uh, I didn't want to like accept it and I know if you don't like something and you want to change it like you change it That is so up to you But like I think we should just stop being so ashamed of them when they're just a sign of life and who we are and what we've been through and you know if you Regret your journey or your path then I can understand why you wouldn't want to look at those stretch marks but like I look at them now and they're just faded stretch marks and they're just a reminder of how how my journey has been and who I am and I don't want to be so ashamed of them anymore. I got frustrated kind of because in my last video <laughs> I did um, one with a bikini on and I talked about body positivity and you know someone, a couple people actually said that it was really easy for me to just stand in my room in front of a camera in a bikini. Like it's different being out there in the world. And um, you know if you want <laughs> I'll go and film myself on the beach walking around people because I do wear my bikini on the beach. Um, you know, and still, thousands of people will see this video and will see my stretch marks regardless and they can comment absolutely whatever they want rather than if I was in person and people don't really say anything in person. You might get a look or a little snarky comment under the breath, but here on YouTube, it's way worse on YouTube than in person because people can say whatever they want from behind the the, de the desk of a computer. They can say anything. They're they're not there to like verbally say it and feel the repercussions of my emotions back. Anyone can type anything on the internet and that's what people don't understand about this job. Anyone can say anything to me at any time. You better believe every single day I get a comment on Instagram or YouTube, wherever, that I'm like, I'm fat, I'm, why don't I work out, lose some weight, bitch, like all this stuff, you know? Um, and it's, it's really grown a thick skin on me. 
but like you better believe out in the real world I will wear that bikini and like you know hey people will see these <laughs> these videos and see my stretch marks and see me in the bikini as well thousands and they can say anything they want so uh, I just wanted to like clear that up and say that you know it kind of frustrated me when people were like oh it's so easy in front of a camera it's like well a it is because I'm comfortable with myself now but it doesn't make it easier and I'm not afraid to show it to anyone because I'm showing it to anyone who wants to watch it right here. I am not ashamed of my body anymore. I can tell you for a really long time, truthfully, I was so uncomfortable with myself. I I hid myself. I didn't want to look at myself naked. And the fact that I'm comfortable enough now to look at my stretch marks, look at my cellulite, look at just my body, my curves, my shape, my beautiful body, it feels so good. And I'm able to share that with you guys in hopes that you will feel some of my positive energy of my body love and feel it for yourself. Because that's how I learned to love myself. I, I saw other women here on the internet accepting their bodies and loving their bodies. I'm like, oh, well, I can do that too. Like, why do I have to make my life so damn difficult? Because I don't like my stretch marks or my fat or, you know, my curves. And now I look at myself and I'm like, girl, like, I love my curves and I love my body and I'm not ashamed of it. Like, I treat this body with respect and love mentally, physically, spiritually, and I am super content with it. And I just, I think other women really, really need to hear that. And they need to know that they are okay. And this summer, you know, you don't need to hide yourself with, you know, baggy sweatpants on the beach because you don't want to show your thighs, your thick, beautiful thighs, or you don't want to wear, um, your bathing suit you want to put a t baggy t-shirt on over it because you don't really want to see your arms I'm s everyone doesn't want to show off their arms or their belly or anything but like find a bathing suit that makes you feel good there's so many different kinds of bathing suits out there and like try them on and just like <sighs> own it like find something that makes you feel good find a way to make yourself feel good about your body because once you can do that you can pretty much do anything once you find that center of self-love inside and accept your body like look in the mirror and fully accept it acceptance is the first step to anything accept your stretch marks they are you they are beautiful they're a sign of your life and your life is gorgeous and fabulous and there's no reason to be ashamed of it you know you have maybe you have cellulite on your legs everyone has cellulite <laughs> It's very rare that you find someone without cellulite. Even smaller people have cellulite. And even if they don't, that's fine. Your body's your body, their body is their body. We all need to just start respecting each other's bodies. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop trying to be like someone else. Own your body and accept it for what it is. And, you know, look at yourself as this temple of you. This is all you have. You know, you have your mental, you have your physical, but this is your body where everything sits. This is where your brain sits, this is where your thoughts sits, this is where your heart pumps blood and feels love, and there's just so many different things on your body that your body is made to do. Like, love it. You know, don't self-destruct. Don't put yourself down this negative path that's just gonna blow up. There's no reason. That does no good. This is all of me. You don't have to be ashamed of all of you. So I just wanted to come on here and have a little talk about stretch marks and body love and uh, learning to accept yourself and finding the beauty in yourself. And you're beautiful. There's no reason to put that hate on you. Put some positive, I say this all the time, positive sticky notes everywhere of everything you love about yourself. And, you know, learn to accept your flaws and learn to love them because they are beautiful and they make you, you. There's nothing wrong with you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to comment below uh, your stretch mark story and how you got comfortable with yourself and, you know, are you okay with your stretch marks? So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!